All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is Anne Marie of the Art of Healing, and I am not wearing a space uniform. I am wearing something warm because I'm in New York. I'm back in my house in New York in my sacred space that I spent years creating, and I'm so happy to be back here. I have been getting download after download after download after download, and uh, I am just chomping at the bit to share it with you. Before I do that, I want to say hello to those of you who are new to my channel. I've had a lot of new subscribers. And uh, just to give you a little bit of a review on who I am, um, I am a channeler uh, primarily and a, a, a spiritual teacher and a healer. Uh, I am very blessed to do this work for humanity at this time, and I hope my messages resonate with you. Uh, having said that, like and subscribe and share this information so that we can raise the vibe of the planet and get through this transition quickly, which is really the point of my video today. Cat wants to go out. No, you ain't going out. I'm busy. Okay. Uh, I have been communicating with a couple of, of my spiritual friends this morning. My friend Max in Italy, I love you Max. He's my spiritual brother. Um, we connect through our connection with Archangel Metatron, which I do identify with as, as well. Um, so Max has been talking to me today. I uh, had an energetic session with uh, my beautiful friend Miriami, who is still learning, so she doesn't have anything to connect you with yet but I'm happy to uh, connect you with her in the future. So uh, I had an energetic session with her today, which cleared me quite a bit. But first and foremost, I really am drawn to talk about our consciousness and the fact that we are co-creating our world, okay? In this intense energetic time, manifestation can be almost instantaneous. So if we put our thoughts together, what a change we can generate for our collective. We are divine creator beings. We are made in the image and likeness of God, of source. So what does that mean for us? What do you mean, I'm a creator being? Well, you create your reality. You create your reality based on your thoughts. So let's take a look at thought right now. What are you exactly thinking about? Are you thinking about what is dividing us? Or are you thinking about what we need to be? What are we supposed to be? What is our society supposed to be? What is our community supposed to be? What is our family supposed to be? What are our lives supposed to be? So if you think about first what you have direct control over, you can think about your surroundings. You can think about your relationships. Those are things you have direct control over. And even more intimate than that, you have control over your thoughts. You have control over where you put your focus. There are a lot of beings out there in our community, and I'm talking about the spiritual community, I'm talking about the truther community, I am talking about the space community, all of these communities that I interact with. There are individuals out there that are reflecting a possibility of thought, and that's all they're doing. And you, in your own body-mind complex, are going to have reactions to these thoughts. If your reactions are like, yeah, that's what it is, then you know that you're on track, that you're in alignment, and that you are creating something potentially amazing. And when I said the word creating, I saw 444, four, four, and those are my numbers. So I'm on to something. Listen up. If you are choosing, which you choose 
to read and react to individuals that do not align with you. And you get this, ah, oh, I can't believe these people are doing what they're doing. And you choose to engage with that. Boom, boom, boom. You are miscreating. You are miscreating your immediate reality. And what is that immediate reality? That immediate reality is how you feel. You are feeling off. You are feeling out of alignment. That is miscreation. Is that what you want? Do you want to miscreate or do you want to create a benevolent, wonderful future? So make some immediate choices, my friends. Make some immediate choices where you create a positive timeline. I just saw a little orb go by. You are creating a positive timeline. So what do you, what am, what Emory, what the fuck are you asking me to do? I don't know what you're asking me to do. All right. Your ego wants to battle. Your ego wants you to stay in this third density where you are. If you give in to that urge to argue, if you give in to that urge to battle back and forth, that's the energy you're going to bring onto the planet. Is that what you want to bring onto the planet? I don't think so. You want to bring an energy of abundance, of peace, of freedom, of joy. Those are the energies that you want to bring onto this planet. N'est-ce pas? Yeah. I don't know why I just said French, but I did. So somebody out there heard N'est-ce pas and went, oh, she spoke to me. That's how this works. What choices do you have to make? Well, you have choices. You can close down Telegram. You can open up a book. You can listen to some fun music. You can take a walk into nature. You can turn off Twitter. What, what a place, Twitter. <laughs> But I get my information from there, Anne-Marie. Do you really need that information? Do you really need it? I offer you that question. What information do you really need? Think about it this way, everybody. You say, oh, well, I don't watch television. I don't, want, I don't watch mainstream news. But you are listening and allowing information into your bodies, into your body-mind complex, into your minds, into your emotional field, whether it come from Twitter, Telegram, whatever other app is out there where people communicate with each other. I won't even say the other F word. Super rolling of eyes. And I participate with it too, and I communicate with people there too. It's not like you have to live under a rock. But the bottom line is that if we didn't have these instantaneous ways of communicating, oh, cat, um, if we didn't have these instantaneous ways of communicating, um, let's, let's just decide to use it for the best possible outcome. And only you can determine what your best possible outcome is. In conclusion, I want to talk about positively co-creating our reality. We must agree to certain things. And this is across the board. We must agree to the dismantling of all things unloving. And that's the intention. Let's dismantle all things unloving, shall we? Let's dismantle all the big dark structures that are still grasping on. So let's ask for that. Let's ask that all darkness come to light so we can dismantle and restructure all these huge, huge, huge institutions on our world that are causing our collective chaos. So let's 
choose to create that, please. The second thing is, let's focus on what we want. What do you want in your life? Do you want not ha to have to get up out of bed every morning by an alarm clock? Oh my God, manifest that. Focus on that, put it out there into the universe. Pray. Say, you know what, God, I am really grateful for where I live. I love what I have, but you know what? The way that I'm keeping it is killing me. Find a solution for me. Find a solution so that I don't have to get up out of bed every day, which just, just, I hate. Do that. I did that. I did that. And it happened. What else do you want to create in your life? God, I don't want to see people with these masks on their face. It triggers me. First and foremost, we have to have compassion. Those people who align with that school of thought, and I just looked at it again, I saw 1111. I'm on the right track. People who align with that school of thought are under a big spell. So let us think about it in that way and let us pray. Let us say, please, may their eyes be open to the fact that they are doing something completely useless and that they're just being used. May their minds be open. You cannot, with your bravery, let's call it bravery, go up to someone and say, don't you know that what you're doing is stupid? You don't need that. So let's pray for it. Let's pray for people so that their own eyes be open, that they receive the enlightenment they need to see in whatever means necessary and collectively say, I'm done with this. What else do you want in your life? Do you want love? Do you want abundance? What do you want? Pray for it. Ask for it. If you want to get specific, get specific, but be aware of your ego. This, the Secret, the book The Secret, only dealt with the ego. It dealt with just, let's say the material side of it. One thing that I have learned through my interactions with the Raw Collective is that we need to stop creating from our lower chakras and we need to start manifesting and creating from the higher chakras. So what does that mean? Okay, it is a shift in perspective on where your manifestation lies. So you can say, I really, you know, I need a new car. I need a new car and I want a car that has this in it and I want a car that has that in it and I want it to be like this and I want to be like that. All right, so you through your ego are setting up this parameters for manifestation and that's magnificent. I hope you get the car that you want. But is the car that's in your best interest? Maybe you manifest the perfect car, but the payments, the insurance, the gas, it's going to overwhelm you in the future. Okay? So what does it mean to manifest from your higher chakras? You change the way your intention goes. You change your prayer. So you can say, I need a car and I really want it to be comfortable. I'd like it to have this feature. I would really love this car to be within my means so that in the future, I'm not too heavily burdened. I will this into my existence and I look forward to what I get. You create it. And one last point, and I just saw one, four, four, four. I'm onto something here, pay attention. The last bit 
is that we need to remember that we live in a very benevolent universe. The universe, all that is, loves us immensely, tremendously. Don't block it. Don't block it by setting up your own parameters. Thank you, and I just saw another orb. That was not a bug, I did not see a bug, that was an orb, I'm onto something, pay attention. The universe loves you. God, all that is, your guides, your teachers, your benevolent high dimensional beings love you. Let them show it to you. Say, wow me, excite me, bless me. I know you want to, and I'm willing to receive it. That's my message today, and I believe it was 100% channeled. How cool is that? All right, my name is Anne-Marie of The Art of Healing. I'm back in New York, and I'm so blessed and happy to be here. Yes, my guides are happy that I have done what I have done, and now it's up to you. Be well. Oh, one last thing. How to deal with people that piss you off, that don't resonate with you. Namaste and on your way. Isn't that cool? I love you all. Be blessed, be well. This is Anne-Marie of The Art of Healing. Have a great day. I love you. Bye.